owes us everything. I walk around this campus understanding that this was built on the backs of my people, and I owe none of you guys anything. We owe white people nothing. What is going on in college campuses in America? There are over 23 universities now which have minority and black student protest movements demanding changes, saying that there's institutional racism ingrained inside the system. And these are some of the most prestigious colleges in the country. This one is Princeton University in New Jersey. There's a group of students right now who are occupying the president's office. They've got demands. They want to see changes, and we want to find out what they are. A group of students have called for reforms here at Princeton. Their main demand is to rename the School of Public and International Affairs, named after former President Woodrow Wilson, who was a known segregationist and a racist. We out here! We've been here! We're leaving! We are love! We out here! This was the scene at another Ivy League bastion of privilege, Yale, just a day earlier. Students there are demanding that a dormitory, named in honor of an advocate of slavery, be renamed, and that faculty who refused to ban Halloween costumes that some students found offensive be fired. Their protests got widespread attention when this incident surfaced. By sending out that email, that goes against your position as master. Do you understand that? Then no, I stop. don't agree with that. Then, then why the fuck did you accept the position? Because who the fuck hired you? I have a different vision. You should step down. If that is what you think about being a master, you should step down. The student is angry at one of the members of faculty who refused to explicitly ban the Halloween costumes. These Ivy League protests follow on events at a state school, the University of Missouri, where African American students have faced overt racist attacks. I'm resigning as president of the University of Missouri system. Protesters there succeeded in getting President Tim Wolf to admit he hadn't done enough to fight racism on campus and to step down. Back at Princeton, I tried to find out more about what campus life was like for minority students. Is there a problem with racism on campus in Princeton like there was in Missouri? Um, no, it's not overt racism. It's an institutionalized racism that you find at a lot of uh, places um, of higher education that were founded by some of the pioneers of this nation. Mm -hmm. Woodrow Wilson included, there's a lot of people who, although they did great things, there are other uh, issues that they have helped to cause in terms of institutionalization of racial um, prejudice. So basically what you're calling for is all of the buildings or institutions named after Woodrow Wilson to be changed to a different name? Yes. I feel like these demands are um, not only uh, achievable, but uh, reasonable. So this is Nassau Hall. It's where the president's office is. This is the atrium where a bunch of students are having their sit and protest. But the president's office is actually behind that door, which is guarded by a university security guard who's not letting anybody through. So we might have to go around and try to speak to them through the window if we want to talk to anybody who's in the actual office of the president. The 17 people holed up in the president's office were members of a student organization called the Black Justice League. How long have you guys been in there? We've been in here for precisely hours? 26 20, hours. Yeah, 20, about 26. About 26 hours. Sorry. How long do you plan on staying in there? Indefinitely. So Woodrow Wilson was not only a product of his time, but... I mean, he was an overtly racist person, and he has a connection. He had a connection to the Ku Klux Klan, right? So he has contributed to the slow yet very present genocide of black people in this country. Mm -hmm. What's uh, What are your other demands? Our other two demands are a cultural competency training requirement for faculty, staff, students. Additionally, we are demanding a black space on campus as well. And what about the threats that were made against you? What specific threats have been made for the occupation that you're holding now? 
coming from administration, they have threatened us with disciplinary action if we do not leave President Ice Gruber's office, which can really range from anything such as a warning to expulsion from the school. Most people think of Wilson as a rather progressive figure. Uh, he was the president behind the New Deal um, reforms during the Great Depression. But what they don't know is his position on segregation. He actually told a group of black protesters who came to see him once that segregation was beneficial. Whatever his past, today Princeton's International Affairs School is known around the world as the Woodrow Wilson School. So what do those who study there think of a possible change to the name they'll eventually see printed on their degree? No one disagrees that Woodrow Wilson was an absolute racist, bigot, sexist. To say that his name continuing to be honored through our school doesn't affect people and mm -hmm. it's just something that they're doing out of political correctness comes from a place of ignorance. Woodrow Wilson School of Public Affairs is a name that's known around the world and will help right. them get jobs and if suddenly the certificate that they get in, at the end of their study says something mm -hmm. else that might be a problem for some students. I'd be much more honored to graduate from an institution even if it is a recent name change even if it doesn't have the prestige that this name has had only because of the passage of time because it represents real activism that took place on campus. It's clear that plenty of students would be happy to see Wilson's name scrubbed from campus, but not every student. So Yik Yak is an application uh, on your phone. It's like an anonymous message board um, that works by location. So everybody at Princeton is posting things on it. And while we've had difficulty finding somebody who wants to speak on camera uh, about the fact that they're opposed uh, to the protest movement here, on Yik Yak there's tons of posts from students who aren't sure that they want to see the reforms implemented or the names changed. Back at Nassau Hall, the sit-in had just got word that Princeton's president, Christopher Eisgruber, had agreed to negotiate with the group occupying his office. So I agree with you that Woodrow Wilson was a racist. I think we need to acknowledge that as a community and uh, be honest uh, about that. And I don't think that you as a white person understand what it's like to walk past the building or to be studying in a school. I'm not assigning a few other people like this to be To be studying in a school and to have that on your diploma. Um, Woodrow well, Wilson perpetuated an ideology that has led to the continual genocide of black people in this country. He is a murderer. We owe him nothing. This university owes us everything. I walk around this campus understanding that this was built on the backs of my people and I owe none of you guys anything. We owe white people nothing. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we may be here a while and uh, there might be another late night in here. So. If anybody wants to go get their stuff, get comfortable, I can tell you for a fact I'm not going outside in that rain. I'm going to be right here. So if anybody needs to go get their stuff, you can do that. Um, we're going to stay here and chant in solidarity so that they can hear us and feel like empowered by our solidarity. But again, like if anybody wants to go get their stuff and try to get comfortable, I'm going to do that in a second. So. We're here! We're here! We've been here! We've been here! We heard from an activist that the president had offered not to take disciplinary action against the student occupiers if they agreed to leave the office the same day. But negotiations were dragging on because the protesters were refusing to leave until Eisgruber signed a document that agreed to some of their demands. In the meantime, we finally managed to find a student who opposed the protest who was also willing to speak on camera. It's very obvious that there is a genuine feeling of, of, of pain um, and that of, of marginalization on this campus. But I think that some of the demands, um, or at least in, in their early form, uh, were a little bit too much. Um, I don't have any problems uh, with the idea of a, a black space on campus. However, where I really strongly disagree um, is uh, that the Woodrow Wilson School of Inter Public and International Affairs should be renamed because the idea of legacy is really important to me. So Woodrow Wilson may have been a racist and we should acknowledge that as an institution, but we should also acknowledge um, that he created a normative structure for international relations that has led to the United Nations. And to not acknowledge that in his alma mater and an institution, institution he was president of, um, I think would be, would be wrong. 
Back at Nassau Hall, the administration had finally convinced the protesters to evacuate the office after reaching an intermediary agreement. Or anything like that, and we told them that for us to leave tonight, we needed these signatures um, for these demands, and so they signed it. So we out. University leadership didn't agree explicitly to change the name of the Woodrow Wilson School, but the document does state that the institution's board will consider the proposal. Administration also didn't agree to require staff to take cultural sensitivity training but it did promise to give the students the black space, a room for African Americans on campus, and that it would consider separate housing for black students and those interested in black culture. Did they say if they would change the name of the school, the public affairs school? So, so I think what people need to understand is that the people which we met with, President Nice Kruger, uh, Vice President Calhoun, and the Dean of the college, um, we got as much out of them as their power at this, at this university would allow them to, right? Mm -hmm. And so the next steps is to get the rest of the power out of the trustees, out of um, Dean, out of the head of the colleges, and out of the other people on this campus who can ensure that these things happen, right? We will be there throughout the process so that we ensure that this goes all the way to the end. 